Inside the Selling from the Heart Trust formula, we speak about disciplined habits. In fact, it's the last part of the Selling from the Heart Trust formula, which is authentic relationships combined with meaningful value and the accelerators are inspirational experiences and disciplined habits. And when I think of disciplined habits, I think of one word, and that one word is consistency. When I think of consistency, I think of my friend Jim Packard. And Jim Packard and his friend, George Campbell, they co-authored a book. The book's called, here it is, it's called The Consistency Chain. It's an insanely simple plan to create daily victories and generate lifelong success. Inside Selling from the Heart, it's about consistency. I believe that sales professionals consistently do the right things right, while sales reps find excuses as to why they're not doing right things right. And what's interesting inside the consistency chain, and I'm going to paraphrase some of this, and then we're just going to tie this in with a couple simple ideas this week, is Jim and George went on to say this. The first step to assisting the vast majority is to understand the real cause of their underperformance. To isolate that, you must first eliminate characteristics that are common to both the 20% and the 80% groups. They base this on the Pareto principle. In sales, spend any amount of time in sales, you've heard this, that 80% of sales are generated by 20% of the people that are on your sales team. 80% of your clients drive, or 20% of your clients will drive 80% of your revenue. And we've heard that over and over and over again. But here's what's, here's what's interesting. They said this, and this was common in both groups. Intelligence, education, talent, ability, motivation, skills, training, even ambition. You see, all these traits, they associate with success and performance, and they're equally present in the 20%, and they're equally present in the 80%. So inside the beginning of the book, they just, they just asked the question, so what's one overriding differentiator? And it boiled down to consistency. Simply put, the 20 percenters do what needs to be done when it needs to be done consistently. The 80 percenters, they know what needs to be done. They know how to do it. But their efforts are hit and miss, erratic and irregular. Isn't that interesting? And this week, what I'd like for you to think about, especially when it comes to consistency, and again, I believe this, this is my opinion, we have over, and I mean over complicated sales. We have tech stack set sales to death. We have automated sales to death. We're on the constant quest for, can we automate this? Can we automate that? Can we tech stack this? We have tech stacked our clients to death. But here's what's interesting. Have we made it simple or have we made it more complicated for salespeople to hit and overachieve their quota? I'm going to leave that totally up to you. But here's what I'd like for us to think about this week when it comes to consistency. And I'm speaking to the 80 percenters here. Let's break this down and let's create some simple things to do this week. How about when it comes to prospecting? I'll give you one idea. What's one new conversation I can start every single day? Simple. What's one new conversation with somebody that I do not know that I can start every single day? What's one new person inside my client base that I do not know that I can meet every single day? What's one new appointment I can set somewhere on my calendar within a two-week period every single day? You see, small, simple steps like I just outlined consistently done over time adds up. Let's just take what I just outlined, those three things. If you simply started one new conversation every single day and you did that consistently 
for a month and you did that Monday through Friday, that's five a week, that's 20 a month. 20 a month, month in, month out. That's 240 new conversations you will have started every year, right? If you, if you follow this, if you just do one new conversation every day. Let's say you find out one new person to speak to inside your client base that you didn't know before and you do that every single day. It's the same amount. That's 240 new people you have met in a year inside your client base. Let's break this down even more. Let's just take that one new appointment. Let's say you do one, you set up one new appointment somewhere on your calendar and you do it in a two week period, but you do this every single day. Again, you're setting up one new appointment. It's not five, it's not 10, it's just one. That's 240 new appointments. People just by doing three simple things, they're basic. It's one. I'm just asking you to do one thing. That's 240 times three. Okay, 240 times three. That's 720 new things in the end of one year. It's the power of consistency. Instead of overcomplicating everything, Let's just hit it with simple, basic, attainable things. I'm not asking you to set up five new appointments a day, talk to five new people a day, talk to five new people inside your client base a day. It's one. Do one thing, those three things, every single day. Try it for the next 30 days and watch what happens. It's the power of consistency. Just consistently do those three things. I promise you this, over the course of 90 days, you will have more business right now in your sales funnel than you possibly have right now. It's the power of consistency and it's the power of disciplined habits. Let me know what you think. I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. Together, we have been building this movement. We call it selling from the heart. It's about bringing deep sincerity and deep business substance to your clients and your future clients and out in the marketplace. Because I do know this, and it's sorely lacking out there. Your clients and your future clients, they'd rather connect and do business with a sales professional who sells from the heart as opposed to a sales rep who is an empty suit. Have an amazing week.